Human Rights Watch claims there's evidence that Bahraini security forces routinely detain and abuse children suspected of participating in anti-government protests. That's according to a report published today, and uh, this is actually a copy of that report, and we have some quotes here from it. Information uh, recently obtained from victims, family members, and local rights activists suggests that Bahraini uh, authorities often hold children for long periods in detention and subject them to similar forms of mistreatment as adult detainees, including beatings and threats of torture. Well, uh, let's now cross uh, live to Nicholas McGeehan. Uh, he's one of the authors of the report. Uh, thanks for joining us here in Arti. Tell us, how was this information actually uh, come by in the first place? Well, local rights groups in Bahrain have been complaining about the the detention of children for some time now uh, and on the basis of that uh, information Human Rights Watch conducted its own research into the detention of children speaking to, to various victims um, and, and that's where we came up with uh, with this this press release actually it was a press release rather than a full report uh, which we issued on, on, on the issue. And based on these accounts what kind of things are these, are these children going through? Well, I mean, it's part of a broader crackdown um, on Bahraini society. I mean, arbitrary detentions are very common. Mistreatment and detention is common, and it often rises to the level of torture. What we found is that there is a failure to distinguish between child detainees and adults, so that children are mistreated in the same manner as, as adults. I think the, the most alarming um, or concerning issues we found in this brief research that we conducted was the children being threatened with rape, um, children being threatened with electrocution uh, and children being beaten. Uh, at one point, uh, a beating outside of a police station was only stopped or, or lessened when a senior officer was brought onto the bus uh, and he reportedly said, beat them, but do it quietly. These are shocking revelations. I mean, how, how often do these kind of violations occur? Well, it's difficult to say. A, a local rights group told us that they, due to the sheer number of detentions, it's very difficult for them to, to document each one, to document its lawfulness and to ascertain the age of the children involved. Uh, suffice to say that we receive numerous reports of child detentions. Uh, we document as many as we can. Uh, but the, the, the evidence that we produced uh, would appear to be uh, perhaps only the tip of the iceberg, unfortunately. Uh, what kind of reaction can we expect from the Bahraini authorities to this? Well, judging from the reaction to, to previous accusations, most probably a denial, most probably an assertion that those people who have been detained have been engaged in some sort of terrorist activity. Um, I think it's, it's, it's undeniable that the Bahraini authorities have exaggerated the threat of, of such activity to justify repressive measures. Uh, it would be interesting to see the response of it, its allies, the UK and the US, I think, in this regard. Uh, these allegations might uh, weaken support for the Bahraini regime um, and, and put them in a very difficult situation. And Bahrain is supposed to be a party to the uh, Convention on the Rights of a Child. I mean, could its adherence be reviewed in the light of this? Well, it was criticised heavily in the last um, review of its adherence to the, the Convention on the Rights of the Child. It's also a party to the Convention Against Torture, and its violations of that um, uh, convention are, are well documented. Uh, increasingly, Bahrain is a, is a state which seems to hold little regard for its international obligations where human rights law are concerned, and regrettably. Okay, Nicholas McGeehan from Human Rights Watch, thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us here today on RT. Thank you.